all right, so our prop firm's done. Are they going under? Is this the end of that era? Let's talk about it. So that's been the talk of Twitter today. It's been going crazy. Everybody's super fearful, acting like it's the end of the world here because if you're not aware, my Forks funds has officially went down. They have been stopped. You can no longer trade through them. And now what everybody is thinking is this is going to be the same with every single trading prop firm like every single firm's going down this is the end that you can no longer use prop firms right that's kind of the kind of the vibe right now of what you know everybody's saying so here's the deal after looking to it a little bit more extensively after asking around different people like everybody's really looking at this very irrationally like nobody's looking at this through a rational view it's just straight up fear it's fear mongering like you're fearful then you go on twitter then you see somebody else that's fearful and then all you do all you see when you scroll through your feed is a bunch of people panicking like there's no rational solutions there's there's nothing there but fear and then you feed off that fear and it just compounds and it gets like nobody's looking at this through through a rational lens of view and after looking into it after asking questions after now I actually understand like the problem so the thing is my forex funds they were operating in a way their business was operating in a way that they can't like you can, that they couldn't do they were they were operating as their own broker their own liquidity provider they had access to the servers which is why like they were able to you know do crooked shit basically like they were able to slip people they made it very difficult for you to get payouts like there's a there's all kinds of shit in there like it was some very crooked stuff definitely not a good firm we, we can establish that but the problem is everybody wants to try to group all prop firms with them now it's one bad apple guys it's literally one firm it doesn't mean every single firm is operating like that it's just such an irra irrational point of view and it's coming from a place of fear and nothing else all right there's now there don't get it twisted there are i'm sure plenty plenty of uh bad firms out there there's plenty of scams out there so that's that's real that's real as well but there's also plenty of great firms there's also plenty of firms that are doing things the right way. And guess what? I firmly believe, all right, I, I can't tell the future. I've said this so many times before, like I've shouted it, I've screamed it on Twitter for the longest time, over a year or since prop firms were as big as they are now. I've been saying they could be here, but they could be gone by next year. I've always said that, which I said, and I've said, you gotta be prepared. And that's why I said, it's always super important and if you're funded with a prop firm and you're getting consistent payouts, you need to be putting that money into your personal trading account because they can't take that away from you. All right. Always put that money into your personal trading account. Don't just spend it on stupid crap. Put that money into your account. So if you have, if you've been trading with prop firms, obviously you should have been doing that by now. But even now, like my personal opinion, I can be wrong on this, but I would say I'm correct. Most likely there should be plenty of firms that go down in the near future. There should be plenty. But the ones that are doing things the right way, that are doing things in an ethical manner, they'll be around to stay. There's gonna be plenty of opportunities. There's gonna be plenty of prop firms. It's just right now, like it's like it's fresh. Like this is something that's happening that's fresh. It's and it's just being blown out of proportion, in my opinion, because it's just it's a very it's a very fearful scenario for a lot of people, and I understand that. But that's that's how I think that is the future. That it's, prop firms have a future in this industry. There may be more regulations to come in. That's fine. The ones that are doing it right, they'll be here to stay. So there's no reason to get fearful and look at it like it's the end of the world. It's literally one firm, guys. It's one firm. It just happens to be like the biggest firm or one of the biggest firms and was doing things in a unethical way. And because it was such a big firm, it had such a big impact, you know, now it just, it put a bad taste in people's mouth. And now everybody wants to direct that anger or that fear. And then they want to, you know, they want to put it on everything on all the other firms now. So that's my advice. Just... Stay level-headed and stay off Twitter if you can as well, because you know Twitter's just a bunch of you know a bunch of fear mongering. It's very irrational. Nobody has any. It's, that's all it is. It's just there's no solutions. It's just a you know it's just a shit show basically. Being fearful that's you know it's that's not a solution. You crying on Twitter, you crying on Twitter and pointing the finger. Uh, that's not a solution. Nobody cares, buddy. Nobody cares. Like all you're doing is showing people how weak you are and that you can adapt. That's all you're doing when you when you point that finger. And you're you're talking about you know how your firm how your firm burned you. Nobody cares. Adapt. That's the answer. Adapt. Adapt. Look for a solution. Go with a new firm. And that's it. That's that's the end of the story.